Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to explain a very important topic, mainly how we can easily use the scikit-learn in Python and then how we can easily apply the land use land cover classification using Sentinel-2 satellite data. I will try to explain all of things step by step. Then I hope you can easily get the idea and further you can also apply these things for your own research area. So first of all, you need to import some uh, library. So first of all, here I import the pandas library. Then I import the numpy library and also apply the scalar assemble and import the random forest classifier and also import the scalar matrix and import the classification report to check the accuracy and also import the matplotlib.py plot okay and further i simply load my training data so this training data we need to generate using qgis or if you want you can also use the google earth engine to generate this type of training so basically it's one kind of csv file this csv file contains this type of information so this column class it is stored all of level suppose 0 1 2 3 0 for water 1 for vegetation two for barren land three for build up so this type of label we also find in the column class then i also add some property so this is the property for i add ndbi ndvi ndwi as well as i also add the seven bands of sentinel 2 surface reflectance satellite images so i simply add all of bands information so this is my training data Okay, so this data I extract from Google Earth Engine or if you want you can also use here the QGIS software or any other geospatial software and then you can easily extract this type of information. So after this data we need to simply spill the data basically in this time we are just uh, preferred the feature feature mainly mainly this type of band NDBI, NDVI, NWI and SRB1 to SRB7 so all of bands I just use in my features and then i simply put the x and y x basically it's my features y mainly it's my uh, label okay or class so this class i have total 0 1 2 3 total 4 class i want to classify it using these features so first of all i simply define x and y so x basically it struck the bands values and also y it basically struck the class level level mainly 0 1 2 and 3 okay so this is the first st second step we need to prefer the features and label so features mainly x label mainly y i simply store it so now for that we simply spill the data so for that we need to uh, call the scale on model selection and import the train and test spilled this function we need to export and then we simply uh, take the variable x train then x validation y train and y validation and we simply spill the data using this function train test is spilled and i define the x and y basically x and y this is my features and level and then i simply take the 20 percent data for testing and 80 percent data rest of 80 percent data for train our model and then i simply put the uh, random state 42 so it's the default we use the 42 so now we train the random forest so in the random forest we just simply call the random forest classifier and then estimators so estimator basically number of estimators it indicating about the number of trees so in this case i just put the 100 uh, manually but further we also check the hyper parameter optimization and find out the best number of trees which give you the best accuracy so in the default i simply use at the 100 but it's not the fixed because this 100 further we can also calculate and identify hyper parameter optimization i put the random state 42 and then i simply train my model so just i use the call the model and use the fit fit basically it useful for uh train your model so i just simply put the x train and y train so now further we simply check the evaluation so further i simply call the y take a variable and call my model and use the uh, predict function and call the x validation and further we simply check our accuracy so here we find out the accuracy if you check so we find out the overall accuracy 91 person we find out that okay for the f1 square also check as well as the precision and support so all of classification report we can easily access from here 
okay so now i want to visualize this image okay i want to visualize the land use land cover classification map so for that i need to import the roster io python package so simply install this package and then import the roster io and load the satellite images so this satellite images you can easily download from google earth engine or if you want you can also use at the any other uh, sources to downloading the satellite images as a tip format and further is simply define this type of band have the in the my satellite images tip format and then i simply um search some process for that uh band indices simply do and take this variable x image so further i simply call and predict the x image okay call my model and predict the x image and then further we try to predict our and reshape back to the image format because i want to display the image okay so using this function we simply reshape back to the image format and further i want to download and save the classification map as a tip format so further you can easily open it in the arc map of qj software okay as well as if you want you can also define the class color suppose in this time i simply make a uh, dictionary and i just simply put the zero i put the color blue one is for green two is for yellow three is for red as well as i also set the label zero water one is vegetation two is barren land three is build up so now further i simply apply some code and then i simply display this type of imagery but in this time this imagery have a problem if you check we find out the uh, background okay it shows the red color background so for this you can also import your shape file boundary in this code uh club code editor and further we can also max with our boundary okay start by max so for that simply import your shape file boundary just i simply import the shape file boundary and then i simply find out it's one kind of multi uh, multi-gon polygon okay multi polygon we find out for our geometry basically it's our boundary so this boundary we check the similar coordinate reference system we are just simply convert reproject the boundary to the images is the same coordinate reference system okay just same and further we simply uh plot this type of map so if you check we find out this type of map so i add the lesion in the lower uh, bottom uh we just simply put the lower left side and we just add this type of title so this is the map this is the final output map so in this map i try to apply the random forest using python a circuit plan and further next tutorial to discuss about that unit in pytross how we can easily apply the deep learning and then how we can easily make the same image for the classification and then further we try to check our accuracy okay which one is more better for my model deep learning or machine learning okay so hope you can also enjoy this tutorial if you have any question you can simply make a comment i will try to give the answer in the meantime i also give you an announcement for our coming online training program so basically this class will be start from um 18 july so now our registration is ongoing so if you want you can also join my online training program so this is the totally for beginners who don't have any knowledge about the google earth engine or who don't have any knowledge about the python or javascript so this class will be start from the 18 july and if you are interested to join this online training program so simply contact in this whatsapp number you can also contact with this email and you can check all of course content for first day second day third day so basically each day i will provide the total four days three hours for the live training and one hours for the problem solving class and you can also get some benefit regarding this online training program after submitting all of assignment you can get the course certificate you can also get that all of materials mainly slide or pdf you can get all of practice code you can also get all of regular session and also live time testing support it's very important as a beginners because when you start the journey with coding you face a lot of problems so that's why you need the continuous support so after completing the total seven days online training program you can get the lifetime free support regarding this online training program any content you can easily get the support as well as you can also get the research collaboration opportunity to collaborate to publishing scientific papers so if you are interested to join this online training program don't waste your time as soon as possible simply contact and then come book your seat so today is no more thank you for asking that stay happy stay safe